Hey my favorites, it's your girl Jessica. We're going to do a luxury try on haul slash what I got for my birthday video today. My birthday was November 26th. I didn't get to celebrate my actual birthday, but I did go out later on with friends and then I decided to splurge on myself a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the new items that I just received in. If you wanna see what I got, just keep on watching. So one of the first things that I picked up was a little item from Burberry. I actually decided to go to Houston and I went to the Galleria and to do a little bit of shopping for Christmas, for birthdays and all of that. So I got this beautiful scarf. A lot of the stuff I've already unwrapped, but there are some things that we're gonna unwrap together that I have not done. But I decided to go ahead and pick up this beautiful Burberry scarf. Some people call it a twilly. I loved it. This, this one here is the 180 by 8 archive belt in check silk ribo is what it's called. So it is reversible. So on this side you have this beautiful Burberry traditional pattern and then on this side is the other, of course, infamous Burberry pattern. I decided to pick this up. I've been eyeing it for a while. I wanted to be able to just add a little, you know, touch of elegance to my outfits. So with this one, you can of course take it, tie it around your neck, do like a little thing. Of course you could do it around your head. I think you guys see me do this all the time where I take them and pretty much make it into a headband and have it go through my hair or under my hair. And then you can always tie it onto a bag. So I just love that versatility of these. And you know, just something simple. It's not too pricey, but wanted to go ahead and pick this up. So the next item was something that I did receive for my birthday. And it's definitely different for me. So my friend gifted me with a beautiful Telfar bag. You know, I love supporting black owned. If you can buy luxury, honey, you can buy black owned without any excuses. So I did get a beautiful Telfar bag. I'll probably have the name of this bag. I'm gonna look it up for you guys. I haven't even pulled it out. It still has all of the stuffings in it. But it does have a strap. It's a long strap. So it's something simple, more like an everyday purse. So you can also hold it like this. So this is really cute because if you want to be cute and dainty, which I have been loving smaller bags lately, especially for, you know, just going out and I don't want to have to have this big old thing and the holiday season. The tag doesn't give me, the tag doesn't give me the information. So yeah, I will have the information on it, but I just thought this was super cute. It has this ribbed material, it's like a leather, almost like a puffer jacket, super cute. So the next item, <laughs> while I was in Houston again, I was able to find it and it is my Tom Ford Petlock shoes now. If you guys have been following me for a long time, there are a specific pair that I have been wanting. It's the traditional pair, black with gold. This ain't it. <laughs> okay, this is not it. Inside is gonna come with your dust bags. It always comes with two, which I think is nice. And of course, I'll have Tom Ford on it, on the embroidery. It's not embroidered, it's kind of like stamped in. So I did go ahead and pick up this pair. So this one is considered the cotton canvas padlock. It is this beautiful, when I say beautiful, I mean gorgeous, 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 you know. Gorgeous shoe, it's a canvas print. It's almost like a tan color here, almost like a woven, think, linen material. And then it has a brown chocolate strap around, matches my skin color perfectly. And then it has the lock, of course. I haven't even worn these yet. And I did pick these up. I picked these up in a size eight. So this is the shoe. When I say I love, I always get my padlock sandals. I have about maybe like four, five or six pairs. Crazy, right? And I still don't have the main pair. So I absolutely adore this shoe now. If you do not know how to walk in heels, or if you don't have a high arch, these will hurt. I suggest getting, you know, the little infamous, I think it's like um, aspartame, or it's a spray that's usually used for like numbing 
spread that on your feet. <laughs> um, I know when I wear these, I'm not doing a whole lot of walking, so I'm never really in pain in these because I wear them for a special occasion, it's a nice dinner, somewhere I know I'm gonna be able to sit. <laughs> these are not gonna be your dance all night shoes, but honey, if you wanna make a statement, you wanna walk in, just get sexy. These are the shoes. They make everybody's legs look amazing. From the Neiman Marcus at the Galleria. So now the next thing that I picked up were these Bottegas. I picked these up mainly because I actually have the exact same pair in a cream color, loved them. Now with these, I also got a 38 in. Normally my shoe size is a like a 37. 37 and a half, but lately I've been having to go up in, well, Tom Ford, I've always had to go up because they do run small. Bottega apparently runs small also, so I have to go up to a 38, and Chanel runs small, so I normally go up to a 38 in that. But I just got these simple beauties, just some simple mules. These here are considered the rubber Lido sandal in black. Now I picked these up again because I have a cream version of these. These shoes are very, very comfortable. Add just a little bit of pizzazz to any outfit if you wanna just put a little heel in. And of course, I had to get them because they were already scuffed and I wore them once. They're black, so you can always use a black shoe and a mule. Who doesn't love a cute little mule? Just enough of a heel, not too much, you know? This is like my whole hand and I have small hands. It's literally like the palm of my heel. Love them, very comfortable. And I got this for a steal. I'm so happy that I was able to get these in for a discount. And if you've never gotten Bottegas before, they normally come like this. So let me take that out. They'll come with the dust bag. There's normally two in the box. This is how this one is. And then it will have extra taps inside of the bag also. There's just extra taps and then it has like this tissue stuff, whatever. But yeah, couldn't pass them up. I just felt like, pff, have to get them now, have to. So now the next thing that I, I, well, the next thing that I received that was a birthday present was this super cute beanie. Um, came from Saks Fifth Avenue and it's just a Givenchy beanie, which I thought was super adorable. This was originally 310. They actually left the tag on. So, um, let's see if I can get any name for you guys. It's just, uh, it just says white, black, and then the department and no, oh, no, this came from Nordstrom's. Did not come from sex. And it was a gift for my birthday. And it's just a super cute beanie. I'm excited because it will go with my... This is going to go so cute with my... Oops. This is so cute. Oh, I look very Christmassy. Y'all, come on now. Get, get into it. It's, it's giving very much so like cashmere blend material so super soft pretty stretchy um i don't have a big head i have a pretty small head and it fits me pretty snug but I, my hair is pretty big so i will say it's big head friendly probably if you're not wearing like really big hair <laughs> so now this is <laughs> This one here is my next item, and it was a birthday gift, so I'm so grateful. It feels so special. I was like, oh my God, what is in this big old box? So this one is something I have been wanting for quite some time from Fendi. And I didn't know how like Fendi clothes come. I don't own anything clothing wise from Fendi. But I was like, okay, packaging, y'all coming through with the nice dust bag. And you have a place to like, you know, put your name if you need and it zips down here. And there's no detailing on the zipper, which I was like, that would have been chef's kiss. But so I actually got the infamous poncho, the hanger, everything, okay? Very nice, very thick, super nice quality. 
I got oh, the infamous Lord. Marlo. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I feel like, <laughs> of course, everyone's known about this poncho, but what Marlo wore, and you know, that meme's been going everywhere today, really drained me. She had this on. I've been wanting it for years and just never really brought myself to get it. And of course, I'm going to show you, like my shoes and the poncho and everything, and the clip on the side, more than likely, me with it on. So cute amazing quality this is like a burnt orange color sometimes it comes off red but you see my shirt is red and it's like a more orange orange yeah but this is the cape very very warm i tried it on already and i loved it i was <laughs> like oh okay they were not playing they did not skip on the quality because I've, I've gotten some other designer clothing items and they're supposed to be warm or really it was a robe. And it's giving very much so towel. <laughs> Not warmth, but just just more so like a hotel towel. So, and I am one of those people that normally puts everything back as I got it. So, just gonna put that back in there. When I saw this, I was so blown away and excited <laughs> because First of all, I was like, oh, you really love me. Like, you really love me. <laughs> but yeah, I've been wanting it for so long and I just, you know, I could have got it myself, but I just did not want to pull the trigger. And for someone else to get it for me just really meant the absolute world. Cause it was just like, you know, you thought that much of me? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this next item came from Saks. It was actually the first thing that I bought for myself for my birthday, but I didn't actually pick it up until almost a month later. I bought it at the beginning of November and I didn't even pick it up until just a couple of days ago. It did come from Saks Fifth Avenue. I haven't worn them. I haven't looked at it. I haven't opened it at all. They are Chanel boots. And I really wanted these. There was a whole like scandal that went on with obtaining them. Not with me, but with the store. One of the salespeople is being really shady. So this is how it comes in the dust box. It's wrapped up like that. Whoop. Wrapped up like that. The what? sorry if the lighting keeps changing. White throws off the camera. So I'm excited because <laughs> I wanted them so long. They're these Chanel boots, honey. Ooh, I hope I can fit these. These look a little bit big. What size did I get? Yeah, these are 38. And this is in the color dark beige. And they're just Chanel high boots. So it says 22K Chanel high boots. But this is them up close. It's like a Chanel rain boot. But I wanted them so bad. And oh, I wonder if I should wear them today. They're kind of cute. Oh. It smells good. <laughs> I don't know why. It, the inside smells like what I would expect. But this part smells really nice. It feels super nice. It has the Chanel detail right there on the back. I don't know if y'all can see that on the heel. And this was my first gift, but I've been wanting them. They came out one round and the guy like sold all of them. And then one came in. Well, actually I think like three or four pairs came in. One happened to be my size and I was able to snag it. So I'm super excited for these and to try these on. It does have little marks on it, but Nonetheless, so happy. Got these in a 38. The next item is a dress that I've been eyeing for a long time. I kind of wanted it to be my birthday dress and I anticipated going out of the country of some sort for my birthday, but that did not happen. So, so <laughs> that's kind of the theme of the dress also was travel, vacation, and it is this rat and boa dress. Like get into these details. And of course, I will have a picture of me 
in it or a picture of the model in it. This dress, everything. It has big, big sleeves. The sleeves are huge, you hear me? Huge. So they're like these big extravagant sleeves, this beautiful V in the front. This dress, I'll have to leave the pricing and everything down below if I don't have the pricing of some things because some were gifted. But it's a short skirt at the bottom. So I did try to go up a size. This dress was the Harley Quinn dress is the name of it. I love, I love, love, love this dress. It fits amazingly. It just hugs right. The belt detail here really helps snatching your waist. I got mine big because I do have a bigger bum and I do have a bigger chest area, but oh, loved, loved this dress. So sad I didn't get to wear it, but I am still going to probably go out to dinner for my birthday, even though it's December, because I celebrate my birthday for two months instead of one. <laughs> just because my birthday's around the holidays and normally always around Thanksgiving, Everyone's always gone for Thanksgiving, so that's not fair. So I celebrated all December also, so that's why you'll see in a few of like more recent vlogs, I went out for my birthday and actually did some things. But yes, you will see me in this dress from Rat and Boa. Absolutely love, love. Ooh. Now this next dress, it is going to wash out the camera because it's so white, but it is white and cream. I got this from Ricky Brazil. It was such the cutest little number and I thought I just had to have it in my closet. I'm really trying to have more pieces, like investment pieces that will really stand the test of time and that are classy. So this dress is the Ricky Brazil CC knit dress. It is like a buttercream and <laughs> Buttercream and white knit sweater dress. So beautiful. It is heavy, y'all. And I'm probably gonna, you know, put a picture right here so you can fully see it in all of its glory. But I said this dress was so amazing. I had to go ahead and pick it up, and I did pick it up for Black Friday. They had 35% off the whole site. A lot of things were sold out, but I was able to snag this piece. This was the main thing I had my eye on. There's two other items, but it did sell out. <sighs> This one, I was so happy I was able to get my size in. I was like, it was meant for me. It was meant for me. So I picked that up and I'm super happy to have it. Okay, so my next two items, I literally had to pause and film reels for them. So, so I realized I never filmed the reel, but the next item is a Chanel bag. I'm so sorry y'all are not getting like how everything was done all nice and cute. But for the holidays, I was kind of surprised. I don't know how I feel. It's okay, I guess. They have holiday packaging and it has this very cute little Chanel pearl, you know, nice and classy. And then they have the black ribbon with the gold on it. And it's more like an actual real sheer ribbon. So this is how the box looked. It was of course wrapped all nice. I actually have that inside. I've been wanting a smaller bag for going out because sometimes I just feel like my other Chanel, I have a jumbo flap that's just too big and just like too much in your face. Like, girl, we get it. You got a Chanel, okay. So this was, you know, the stuff that was inside. But this is the bag. It is caviar leather and it is silver. I did decide to go ahead and get silver because I always, Go with black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. And I wanted to get something different, more understated, more muted than, you know, shiny gold. So this is the inside. It looks really flat right now because nothing's in it, but it does, you know, expand a little bit on the side. It's just a perfect small night purse that you put all of your credit cards right there. And then it has this zipper pouch here. And then it has a pocket right back here. Oh, of course, there's the pocket in the front. I did get this from the Chanel store at Neiman Marcus in Atlanta, Georgia. If y'all are ever in Atlanta and you want a very sweet salesperson, either go to my girl, Farah or my other girl, Valentina. They are so sweet. Let them know Jessica sent you and they will take care of you. When I say so sweet, patient, don't rush you. You never feel like, oh my God, I need to hurry up. Like, you know, some Chanel stores make you feel like you don't have enough money to shop there. No, they're so patient and so sweet. This is how the inside was. 
Of course, it was packaged a whole lot nicer. Maybe I'll try and put the reel in the corner so you can see me unboxing it, but it had the bag. Y'all already know. Really excited about that. Actually cannot wait to wear it. So, of course, you guys will see it. The next item is from Louis Vuitton. Um, I went there really for a scarf. They couldn't find the scarf. They didn't have it. So inside is, so that's just my receipt. Then she also gave me some, a cute little baggie that has some samples for perfumes, which I was excited about because I have been wanting to get a Louis Vuitton perfume and I wasn't sure which one I wanted. There's two in here. So I'm gonna try those out. Maybe I'll try that out today. So what I picked up was actually some shades. And if you've ever gotten shades before, it just it's like a drawer, you just pull it out. Don't be like me and put it in wrong. So inside there is kind of like your, you know, your little booklets for your shades, as well as, what is this? The information about the shades. And then Louis Vuitton boxes, they come like this, it's blue. So these shades here were also a gift and I was so excited. This is normally not my style of shades because normally I don't like stuff on my shades. This is normally not my style of shades because normally I don't like stuff like, you know, the gaudy prints and all that. But honey, I put these on and I was just like, I could not <laughs> stop looking at myself. And then um, I had mentioned it to got it for me. So this is the Grease Dark Gunna. M N G W. So I think it's W and East, Western and Eastern. So I have a Western, and that is the nose bridge part. And yeah. Hello, somebody. Hmm. 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 Yes. I was like, these are too cute. These are too cute. So I had to get them. I loved the side detailing, which I'll show you guys also on it. And I was just like, these are just a nice crispy black pair. So I did get these and I'm so excited. If you saw my vlog, then you saw when I went to go pick it up in the craziness that happened right before I walked into the Louis Vuitton store about the gentleman being a pervert towards me. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video. But this is what I went in there to go and pick up because they ordered it for me and um, I had to go pick it up myself. All right, guys, that is everything that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this luxury slash what I got for my birthday haul that I gave you guys. And let me know if you have any of these items. Let me know if there's any other items that I should be trying to pick up or have my eye on. I do have my eye on like two more things, but honey, since I'm not trying to spend that money right now, because <laughs> this is enough. But I do love you guys so much and I hope you're having a great holiday season. Make sure you love on someone. Make sure you check on your strong friends and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love ya. Bye.